Right, so day seven, Christmas countdown. Let's get on with this. I'm still in love with how they, they've tied everything up and oh yeah. I'm gonna see what if there's anything I can actually do with all these ribbons that are on them. So, cause I've been keeping them, so I've got quite a few. Uh, I might even use them in my own Christmas wrapping, who knows. So day seven of this Christmas countdown, lovely little seven there. And I can already see it's sort of feathers of some description, so. Oh, uh, so, yes. So we have, let me just read them out. Ooh. Right, I'm just, every day you're gonna get this from me. I'm just in love with how they've packaged this. I'm in love with how they've put this together um, like this isn't, a, you know, the, I, I went to Peterson's and I said, well, I didn't go, I emailed them. And I was like, this is what I'm planning on doing. I did it last year. You know, could you help me out? Make sure they're all packaged individually. You know, da da da, da. I love how it's all, it's, it's a story. It's a little story. Oh, see, you plan for, you recall these videos, and you, you, you don't realise, oh, that's amazing. Girls, Thank you. <clears throat> so today we have, we said that today is, you could go for a soft, sorry, start again. You could go for a softer ostrich mount, perfect for that ethereal floating look in contrasting colors. <gasps> and we have a uh, yellow and like a red. Um, and these are, so I'm just trying to get the, um, where are they on here? So these are ostrich and stripped coke feather mounts. So we have the red, which once I open it, oh, oh, let's give it a shake. That's pretty. Oh, so that is the red, and we have. The yellow. So this up. Oh, that yellow is divine. In fact, if I just put those together, oh, yes, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and these retail for four pounds a mount. Um, which I think for the amount of ostrich feathers you get, that's actually a good deal. Um, so yeah, once again, not always necessarily something I would always use personally in the past. Now I'm starting to see these mounts and, you know, get to touch them, get to play with them. Um, it's definitely, definitely something to, uh, that I would think about. And that is my um, front door, so I'll be back in a second. That was somebody who wanted a parcel that was left in our foyer. So, poms, thank you. Uh, so what day are we on today? We're on day seven. So many days, so many days, so many days. So, day seven uh, comes from Instagram. How to deal with customers who want you to make something from another milliner? Good question. Um, this comes up not very often, but it does come up. Um, it does come up. I tend to say, well, I always say, there's no tend to say, I always say, look, <clears throat> um, clearly, if, and it's happened, it's happened to me very recently on Instagram, so I say, I won't make that. Um, I will, you know, I, if you if you don't know who's, where did you find the picture? You know, I'll put you in touch with somebody who 
who made the hat you know i can i can you know i don't know everybody but I, i'm i'm okay enough to figure out who could have made what to a degree so i will say da, 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 da. you know i'll help you try and find who made it um where did you get the photo from you know and then help help them that way sometimes they genuinely want they 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 want you to make something that they want but they want don't want to charge the price now personally i won't do that like my style is my style and i'm not going to it's kind of what's the correct word sacrifice my style or my ethics or anything like just to make a bit of money i would rather people buy my stuff because they like my stuff as opposed to coming to me because I'm maybe a little bit cheaper than somebody else. So that's just my view. Um, I think that there is a lot of copying in this industry. Um, not Maybe not, I haven't seen it so much recently, but I, I remember last year there was a spate of uh, people being ripped off left, right and centre. And it, it, you know, frankly, it needs to stop. There's nothing wrong with taking inspiration from somebody. There's nothing wrong with looking at something and thinking, how can I, uh, you know, try that? Uh, and then and trying to understand how they put it together and then take it in a different direction. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But saying I want, you know, making a hat that somebody else has put those hours of time designing, making, um, marketing into, taking that away from that person doesn't sit well with me. So I personally would, would, would refuse to make that and try and gauge, you know, was it they saw it on Pinterest and they were like, oh, I know this milliner, let me see if they will make it for me. Um, if they don't want that hat, but they want something like this. Obviously I'd be like, look, this is my style. I'll incorporate some of that, the design elements or the colors or the shape or, or whatever into my design, but it won't be this hat and see how that goes. So I hope that answers your question. Um, copying is wrong. So don't do it. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you aren't already, make sure you've subscribed to this channel. If you are subscribed already, hit that notification bell down below to be notified when we release videos in future. We're putting up videos every day at 8 p.m. UK time. So check your local time for when we release videos. And yeah, all the items are all linked in the description box below. What else? Social media. You'd think I'd have this down by now. All the social media is linked as well in the description box below and it's probably going to crush your screen as we speak. So yes, thank you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day eight and let's see what surprises we have for day eight. See you later, bye.